Yes, 2021 is a big year for American Horror Story, as we are being treated to not one, not two, but three seasons of the hit show in just one calendar year. I myself am very skeptical of the series as a whole after some subpar seasons in recent years. I've even made a video declaring I'm no longer a fan of American Horror Story, but call me a sucker for punishment as every year I go to creator Ryan Murphy with an empty bowl asking for more. Please, sir. I want some more. What? But let's hope the three seasons this year is an example of quality over quantity. I'm Matt Rogers and this is everything you need to know about American Horror Story in 2021. Now this video will be separated into two parts. First, the spin-off anthology series they're calling American Horror Stories, and secondly, American Horror Story Double Feature, which is the continuation of the main series and will comprise of two separate seasons, one by the sea and the second by the sand, but more on that later. A spin-off to American Horror Story is what fans have wanted since the first season aired back in 2011, and now we have it with American Horror Stories. The captivating and complicated characters that were barely touched on in the main series begged for more of a backstory, and from what's been revealed about this series, that may be, at least in part, what we're gonna get. Back at the end of 2020, Ryan Murphy went to Twitter and said, quote, it's the AHS spin-off. We are doing 16 one-hour standalone episodes delving into horror myths, legends, and lore. Many of these episodes will feature AHS stars you know and love. More recently, Murphy announced who he calls the Fantastic Four joining the season, which consisted of from left to right Nico Greetham from Murphy's Netflix musical The Prom, Kevin McHale of Glee fame, Dylan Burnside from Murphy's other hit show Pose, and finally Charles Melton, most notably known for Riverdale. In addition to these four, a cast promo has just been released listing a whole bunch of cast members along with their character names, which notably includes Danny Trejo as Santa. The exact content of the episodes was set to be a bit of a mystery, but recent trailers hint that the season will be referencing season one a fair amount. Considering the first promo follows the infamous rubber suit, this time worn by a female. Another recent trailer showing a new set of victims in the unmistakable murder house itself. I've always said that returning to its roots is definitely a good thing for this series, and I am cautiously optimistic about fleshing out this extended universe. Speaking of which, Ryan Murphy has put the question out to the people by polling what we as the audience wish to see. The options started with Aliens, Christmas Horror, Bloody Mary, Sirens, Piggy Man and Plague, and ended up with the finalists being Bloody Mary and Plague. But I wouldn't be surprised if we got a taste of all of the above. The titles of the first few episodes have also been confirmed, with the first two episodes being called Rubber Woman, so it appears that we'll be treated to a two-part premiere, based on what we see in the promo. The third episode seems to be a change in pace and is titled Drive-In, which could be a spin-off of 1984, which of course is around the time of drive-ins in their heyday. The trailer shows a quick shot of a drive-in, and it appears that all the attendees are running away from something, zombies perhaps? undoubtedly a supernatural cinematic experience. The fourth episode titled The Naughty List will surely be starring Santa, which will likely be a serial killer, much like we saw in Asylum with Ian McShane. On a side note, remember the promos of season six? The marketing was all question marks regarding the name of the season, which ended up being Roanoke. But the reason I bring this up is there was all those random teasers they threw in to keep everyone guessing. American Horror Stories is the perfect opportunity to explore these classic yet unique horror themes. They can do one episode based on a specific creature or serial killer or whatever, and then move on. And therefore they don't have the commitment of dedicating these creatures and themes to one entire season. Stories will be dropping on FX and Hulu on July 15. Now onto the Mothership series, Double Feature. On the topic of this season, Ryan Murphy has said double feature means, quote, two seasons for the fans airing in one calendar year. So double the viewing pleasure. One set by the sea, a second by the sand, end quote. It is unclear at this stage how or even if the two seasons are connected, but being a Ryan Murphy show, there surely will be at least some Easter eggs between the two. The By the Sea season cast was announced back in 2020 and consists of those you see on screen. The returning cast includes Frances Conroy, Leslie Grossman, Billy Lord, Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters, Adina Porter, Lily Rabe, 
Angelica Ross, Finn Whitrock, and Dennis O'Hare. But we also have some new cast members joining with Macaulay Culkin, which took me by surprise, Neil McDonough, and Ryan Kira Armstrong, who this week on her Instagram confirmed the title of the first episode being Cape Fear. Very little is known about the true theme of this season, apart from some set photos that you are seeing now, which show who appear to be the creature villains who will be stalking the cast. Cape Fear could be taken literally as the real world location in North Carolina, or it could just be a play on words for the haunted seaside location. It's anyone's guess at this point. They definitely need to further elaborate on the aliens that have been a subtle and not so subtle theme throughout the series. I personally am a big fan of the alien horror genre and one of the official posters recently released almost confirms this directly, which is very exciting. Alien horror really hasn't been done right in a long time, or has it? Let me know if you have any modern recommendations I should check out. I am impressed by how well they've kept Double Feature under wraps. And get this, recently the characters for the second part of the feature, By the Sand, have been announced. And include Jackie Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe, John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, and Neil McDonough will be leading the cast as Dwight Eisenhower, who served as the 34th US President from 1953 to 1961. Richard Nixon being his vice president and JFK succeeding him as president with the first lady Jackie Kennedy. And the presence of Marilyn may be evidence of the affair between her and the president being covered in the show? I must say a weird topic for a horror series. The only real political season was Cult, but it seems they will be going all in with this season. It would be amazing to have an alternate horror reality based on these characters, but your guess is as good as mine as why it's referred to as By the Sand. American Horror Story Double Feature will be premiering on FX and Hulu starting August 25th. But what are your theories? What horror theme would scare you the most? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard, and if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.